basically, we are on Mars. Hello, Hello it's us again. everybody, and welcome to another Jordan vlog. So you might recognize that we look exactly the same as we ended our last vlog. That's because we're still in Aqaba and we are getting ready to drive to Wadi Rum to sleep in the middle of the desert. So it is about an hour drive and we'll take you along with us. We're so, so, so excited. So make sure to stick around for more desert content. We're in our desert era. And how excited are you on a scale of one to 10? 11, for sure. I cannot wait. What's up people? We're still in Aqaba. We have spent the past 45 minutes driving around Aqaba city looking for an ATM just to pull out some cash while we're in Wadi Rum and it's proven to be quite a challenge. We cannot, we've been to like five banks, uh, five different ATMs and they all just will not provide cash. Probably should have done that this morning at our hotel but so. here we are and I don't know what the plan is so. <laughs> Right, so we made it to Wadi Rum. We got a meeting point to meet our host, the owner of the camp here. And then they have to drive us out in a four by four out to the camp. But we're in the middle of nowhere. And I am very confused. I just texted him and he just read my text, so stay tuned. A new white car there, my friend. It's my brother. All right, we found the white truck and the brother and now we are following him. We just had to drive to the visitor center of the Wadi Rum village area. I don't know what to call it. But again, let's talk about the Jordan Pass. You can get the Jordan Pass on the Jordanian government's website and it is $90 a person, I believe. It gets you a visa, which is already 60 something dollars. Then it gets you entry to all the tourist spots, including Wadi Rum. So you have to pay per day to visit Wadi Rum, including staying at the desert camps out here. So our host actually just took our Jordan Passes in and we just have to register that we're here and we get in for free. Here's the exact amount it costs to get into the Wadi Rum village. I'm not sure off the top of my head. It's it's pretty much, it's much cheaper if you're not driving a car. Moral of the story, the Jordan Pass gets you in everywhere with more ease and obviously saves you a bunch of money. So I see him coming back. I guess he registered us and then we're heading to our camp. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty, so we just got a little stamp into Wadi Rum on our Jordan passes. I'm covering the passport number because I don't know, are those like sensitive? Is that sensitive information? Whatever, I'm covering it, but that's the stamp we got. Hi guys, so we made it to the Warm Bubble Tents. That's the name of the camp we were going with, which is such a cute name because they're actually one of the only camps that have a heater inside of the bubble tents. I guess that's why they're called Warm Bubbles. We pulled up at this spot and we met our host Mohammed and he came out and he was like, oh, so sorry to tell you that there was an issue with the availability and the booking. You'll actually be staying in a regular tent even though we booked the bubble tent camp. We were like, oh darn. And then he said, so when should I tell you that I'm just kidding? And I guess we had to be there. He's just really funny. So we actually are parking our car here and then driving in a four by four with our luggage to the campsite. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. We don't even need a drone guys. Hi guys, welcome to our crib for the next two nights. Come on in. Okay guys, so we made it to one of the famous bubble tents in Wadi Rum in Jordan and we've already made ourselves quite comfortable, but we'll give you a little tour. There's not too much space to show you, but this is a very nice tent. Again, we're staying at the Warm Bubbles Camp. No, is that what it's called? Yeah, Warm Bubble Camp. It's called Warm Bubble because they actually have a heater in here. It gets rather cold in the desert at nighttime, so we'll let you know if we use it. 
They also have a TV in here, so we might throw on the sequels of Star Wars just because it was filmed here in Wadi Rum and it would be kind of iconic to watch that and be in this bubble tent. But it's technically not real Star Wars. <laughs> and then we have our bed. So it's basically just two twin beds pushed together, which is totally fine. There's also a couch here we can chill at. And then you want to see the view. So we have a pretty good unobstructed view of the desert right here. We're in the front of the camp and it's sick. Oh my God. There's just camels roaming free out there. Do you see Matt? Yes, I see. That's so sick. And then we have a bathroom as well. You might be thinking, oh, they're camping. It's going to be a little rough. You're wrong. <coughs> Check it out. It's pretty sick. Nice shower. We haven't showered yet, but supposedly there's hot water all day long and all night long. So that's a win. And then also we have an AC unit. It's rather hot right now. So we have the AC running. So we also opted to pay for dinners at the camp because what are we about to do? Like go rummage to the desert for food? No. So we are getting picked up at 740 and then going to a different camp for dinner. For now, we're gonna chill and look at the desert. And spoiler, sorry guys, but we're not going to do camel riding here and it's a very iconic thing to do in Wadi Rum. But we just did several camel rides in Morocco and Egypt, which we're so grateful that we got to do. So we're a little bit cameled out, but you guys should definitely do that if you come here and stay in the camp. I'll see you at dinner. Love you guys. Alright guys, it's time for dinner. We're being picked up at our camp and going to another camp, I think. Yes. Hello. Ready? For dinner? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The fall. Yeah. <laughs> no food is in there, I guess. Witnessing some sort of like ritual. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this. After the guys, we have here rice and uh, vegetable, potato with carrot, and chicken. Okay. I don't really know what all this is, but there's at least chicken and rice. It's a lot of stuff. Back to the camp. Alrighty guys, guess what time it is? It's time to go on a desert tour. So we're going with our camp. And they're gonna take us out for about six hours. We're going to see the famous filming locations of all the movies you guys know about. Here's a list of some. The most known to us are The Martian and the new Star Wars movies, which are controversial in our lives, but we don't delve into that too much. I think lunch is included too, and I'm not sure if we're coming back here before dinner. We'll let you know how it goes. But for now, let's go head out into Wadi Rum. Yeah. Got a car for the day. Basically, we are on Mars. <laughs> yes, literally. Um, the travel here is really easy, only about 20 minutes by car, so you should come <laughs> visit. <laughs> this is one of the scenes where they shot The Martian. Well, How do I act like an astronaut? <laughs> Float away. <laughs> we'll insert like a screenshot from the movie so you can see. 
apparently this is like the iconic Martian spot from the cover, so. Do I look like Matt Damon? No. Oh. Would you be happier if I told you that you look like a man? Also, like, even if this wasn't a movie spot, it's insanely crazy looking. It's literally Mars, Matt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, these rocks literally look like Martian rocks. Pretty crazy viewpoint. I love Earth. She's so dope and she's so diverse. Literally feels like a different planet. But spoiler, it's not. It's the same planet. <gasps> That's our truck. All right guys, so apparently right up here on this wall are inscriptions of camels that were made over 2,000 years ago. This is our stop for lunch in a traditional Bedouin camp. All right, we just stopped in a random tent for lunch. They had a little pre-made lunch for us. So first we have a Coke and a water, an apple and a banana, and it's all wrapped up. Some sort of chicken wrap, I think. What's chicken good? Chicken maybe? Apparently we're going to a little watering hole. Three days. Three days. Yeah. That's so cool. I guess it rained here recently. You weren't thirsty enough to drink that water. All right guys, this is Lawrence of Arabia's real house in real life, not from the movie. That's pretty sick. Guys, we're doing a little viewpoint hike. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get up there. How you doing? I have so much respect for Lawrence of Arabia because this hike is sketchy. <laughs> Look at this view though. I made my own. Alright guys, we made it up on this little mountain rock outcrop. <laughs> Alright guys, check out this view from a random mountain. Would you call it a mountain or just like a large rock in the sand? Sure. Both. And yeah, we're out here in Wadi Ram. It's pretty remarkable. You guys think I can get up that? Hello. We're just chilling on a rock. <laughs> a very big rock. A big rock. Go. And be careful. <laughs> How was it, Patty? Good, awesome. I'm sure the photos are great. We'll insert them right now. And I just want to let my mom know that it's not as sketchy as the Devil's Bridge in Arizona. So, just putting that out there so you feel better. 
All those crab walks in strength training are paying off. <laughs> no! Okay guys, we're about to do shrooms. Okay. Just we're kidding. Awesome. But we are at this rock and all I know is that it looks like a mushroom, so they call it mushroom rock and it's pretty dope. <laughs> we did a six hour desert tour and we spent a lot of it just driving around. I'm gonna insert the exact square footage of Wadi Rum Reserve because it's huge. And I feel like we've been driving around for hours and hours and we've barely scratched the surface. But we're really happy to be here. No, I'm good. <laughs> Here you will find Lawrence of Arabia's head carved into the rock. It dates back to 1917. I'm assuming he passed by through here. This is the face of the King of Jordan. In 1917? In 1917. And I guess over here we have another face. Ah, the Bedouin King. Yes, you can actually go inside there. This is the location of Star Wars. We're not really sure which episode they filmed here, so now you know. Something about this place is just really bringing out my inner Jedi. I guess you could say my force is awakening. Stop, dude. <laughs> spot for sunset and fun fact we're gonna do two sunsets tonight um, so we're gonna watch the sunset behind these rocks and, and then drive around them and see the sunset again bye bye sun for the first time Go for round two. Round two. Ginormous dinner in a bubble tent, part two. Boy, the camera cannot see nothing. All right, guys. So we're stargazing currently, and honestly, I thought that the camera would pick up more of this but it does not at all so it doesn't even catch the moonlight pretty much so anyway enjoy a black screen until i go back towards this way <laughs> Yes. 
Good morning, everybody. So we are having breakfast in our bubble tent today because it's rather windy outside this morning. But this means that we are getting ready to leave our bubble tent. So we had a really fun two nights staying out here in the middle of Wadi Rum. Two points of clarification from last night because I never followed up. The second sunset, I think, was just something lost in translation because we definitely did not go back to see a second sunset. I think theoretically you could if you made it quick enough around the other rocks and then saw the sunset behind a lower point, but we did not do that. And then I'm not sure if we talked about that we were going to go stargazing after dinner. So we did do that with our host here from Warm Bubbles, and then we went with two other people staying here. It was magical. I mean, it's just been a while since we've sat around a campfire in the middle of nowhere and told stories and just sat around. At least we haven't done that on this year of travel. So that was really fun. And we had a really good experience with Warm Bubbles Tent. There are so many bubble tents you can pick from when coming here. It's kind of overwhelming. We didn't really know. We kind of just ended up going with one because we were so overwhelmed with the decisions that we had to make. But this one's pretty nice because they have AC and the AC has a heater in it. And I did find a tick in my bed last night, so that was a little exciting. But other than that, yeah, we're just going to eat our breakfast and then head out of here. We just have to get a little ride back to the parking spot, and then we'll be heading to Petra. So I'm going to close this vlog up. If you watched this far, then you're really amazing. I hope you enjoy exploring the desert with us once again on this year of travel. I hope you have a great day, and we will see you in Petra. Well, I just... Ooh. Look at my outfit. Sorry. Oh, my hair. My hair is dark. Sorry. <laughs> Y'all know where I can get me shrooms? <laughs>